Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Pages Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 235. Restrict access to a site. Often I get asked, how do we restrict who can see our site? With Power Pages, there are lots of different ways to do this. While we've covered these options in various tips, in this tip I'd like to talk about, at a high level, what the options are, and when you'd use them. I'll talk about the options in order based on how much of your site someone without access can see, starting with the option that is the most restrictive, and that's IP address. Within the Power Platform Admin Center, you can select an IP address or a range of IP addresses. Once set up, a user must be coming from that IP address to be able to access the site. Otherwise, they'll see a 403 error page. This is typically used in situations where users of the site are coming from a corporate network using a known IP address. It can also be useful for limiting access to pre-production sites. Next, we have site visibility, which is relatively new. Instead of focusing on IP address, when a site is in private mode, it requires that a user log in with an Azure Active Directory account, now known as Microsoft Enter ID, that has specifically been given access. This login is separate from the login to the site itself, which might use Azure AD B2C, local authentication, or even another login with Azure AD. Nothing on the site is available until the user passes that first level of authentication, even pages configured for anonymous access. This functionality is primarily used when sites are pre-production, to keep people out of the parts of the site that would normally be available to anonymous users until it is ready to be launched. Finally, we have web roles. These can be used to restrict access to specific pages, or even specific data on those pages. Users of the site can have different web roles, allowing you to give different access to different people. This is the most common way to control access to different parts of the site once it is in production. In our next tip, we'll talk a bit more about restricting access via web roles specifically about when to use table permissions versus web page access control rules. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Pages tip number 235 on restrict access to a site useful.